Hey everybody, it's Boxy Cactus here. Welcome back to another Knights and Dragons video. So in this video, it's sort of like um, a war recap, um, a fusion frenzy video, and like an enhancing video. So as you saw there, I got six fusion boost armors. I was with Gold Cactus this war, and all the members did pretty well except for a couple. Don't react, kick them out because if you're not going to do anything, you're not going to be in the guild. But as you can see, the guild is totally growing. We have like six spaces though, and the high commanders especially that like the people that I have as high commanders right now they're all doing really well and I, that's why they're high commanders so a couple of you have been asking why I'm not using my arena energy it's actually because I want to start saving up the energy like I'm not sure if you knew but there's a daily bonus that you get like every day at 12 o'clock and basically a daily bonus like on day three you get five energy and every time I get energy I'm saving it so that you know I can eventually spend it all on one arena and possibly get like a top 10 reward, something like that. And I'm probably going to do it when there's like um, a Dragonforge reward because that would be cool. And just for your information, I have completed the Baronet. Since I'm actually crafting the plus version right now, I'm actually going to go ahead and fuse away the normal version. Actually, I'll go show you first. You can actually craft the steam powered exoskeleton. That's pretty cool. It's not so often that you get to craft these legendary armors. But as you can see, we are actually crafting the epic plus version of Baron's Joust Gear, so we can actually go ahead and fuse away the normal version with the other normal version of the epic boss, and I'm actually going to do that right away. So I'm actually going to be fusing the Twilight Ripper Guard with the Baron's Joust Gear. Here we go. Don't worry, this warning, it, like, you only need the plus version, trust me guys. Um, let's see what we get. We are getting, oh my god, no! We got... Oh my god, what's this armor called? It's the Arbor Steer Vanguard. I was actually thinking that I could possibly get Gunslingers, but no, it gave us like the worst reward we could get. Um, I'll definitely fuse that away later on with a different armor. Alright, so now I'm going to be enhancing my Robes of the Jackal Plus version. I got six fusion boosts. I'm not sure that it'll make it, but we'll see how it does. It might make it, let's see. Alright, so increase to level 82 basically 83 um, I think it'll increase like one or two more levels after this yeah I thought that it might not make it fully but as you can see it is a strong armor like it's not even maxed and it's almost a strong armor it has 1200 attack and almost 2200 defense and its max stats are actually 2300 attack and 2300 defense so it is a strong armor and I'm glad I pushed for it and it also does look pretty cool so yeah, the new epic boss will be coming out in like, what is it, two hours, and yeah, I believe it's going to be a mono spirit. Gold Cactus did really well. This We almost lost our 500 rank, as you can see there, it says your guild's rank was 497. So if we literally drop down to 502, which is the position that Assassin 7-7 got, we would have lost our reward and only gotten Ribbon F, and that would have been one less spirit fusion boost. So yeah, it was a close one. Um, not too many people in our guild actually helped out, which was unfortunate. I had to go ahead and kick a couple of these leechers. I can't believe our guild is already having leechers. People like this guy, they're getting lucky. Like that guy, he probably got that out of a champion chest. GC Steven, he got this out of a champion's chest. So if you guys did not know, those two armors are chestable, and they are actually um, pretty old raid armors, but they're really decent. Like they're... They're top notch, like their plus version stats are probably as good as a Dragonforge normal. And as you can see right here, I have 4,000 attack on my freaking Ash and Fire Plus. It's pretty crazy because I have a fully maxed Wicked Sheath and I'm still enhancing a Clover of Power. I won't even have to put on my main guy and it'll be on 4,000 stats. Um, one last thing before we close the video off, I'm actually just gonna use the fusion boost I got on this. Oh, just a couple levels, okay. I'm just going to enhance an amulet that I have. Plated Clover. Do you see that, guys? It's so much defense. As you guys can see, we're actually pretty poor, which is unfortunate. I don't know how we got so poor. Alright, it's so level 60. Ten more levels to go. If you guys are wondering what amulets I have on my PvP god, I have the... Um... A Claw of Power. It's almost maxed. And I have Wicked Pillars. Wait, no. I have a Plated Clover. Oh my god, it's almost at 4,000 attack if I put that amulet on it. 
Oh, wow. Let's do some changing here. Wait a minute. I'm actually going to try putting on my main guy and see what it gets to. All right, so those are its stats right now. It's not even maxed. So I put that on and that. Wow, it's at 4,000 attack. Okay, that's cool. It's, like, so overpowered. And I could, like, put my Ash and Fire right here and put the Wicked Sheath on it, the Claw of Power. And I just need to, like, enhance the Clover of Power, and I'll probably get to bring my Ash and Fire to 4,000 attack. And we'll put Summoners right here. All right, let's put that on. And that. As you can see, this four-star amulet, it sucks so much. It's a health one. Many of you have been saying that, oh, health ones are good for raids. I tried it out. It was honestly didn't really help at all. I got a better score when I wasn't wearing it. So, yeah, I don't think they do help, but they might a bit if you enhance them. Wow, that's like the crappiest amulet I've ever seen. My guild needs some donations to um, enhance the the boosts. As you can see, it costs a lot of money to do that, and to get it to level 10, it's going to take like about $200 million, I predict. I think that's how much it'll probably take. And, yeah, we're going to need some donations. We're just about to actually make it to one of the bonuses. And I'm actually going to be upgrading air because, as you guys could see, a lot of our guys have air. Look, we have the GC Steven right here. He needs air. Um, yeah, we have a lot of air people. Also, congratulations to this guy. He got this out of one chest, both of these Dragonforge. Pretty rare, huh? Yeah, but other than that, hopefully you all enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.